silence is golden, but everyone's buying high and selling low. Making a stock of thought, only two cents. And you paid to listen when a picture's worth a thousand words, and you can't piece together that gadget with pictures alone. I want to paint a picture for you. I want to paint a picture of you, but I'm better behind the pen than the easel, so I'll speak, and you can draw conclusions, and we'll call this not an participation piece. And hey, if you draw a blank, it's participation enough. Now, I think everyone's heard this story. The wise man built his house upon the stone, the foolish man upon the sand, and God, well, God built his in the clouds, which leaves me reminding him more isn't always better as the beetles were one as short a beat less but larger than his son. And it was from his house that the winds blew and the rain fell and destroyed his beloved creation. So I'll bend these fingers over backwards, pushing forward, screaming forward, muted to the silence of the violence that never becomes past tense. Ilo, ilo, lamas, bhaktani. I live in a country where the greatest powers lay of course powdered with sand and hearts are harder than the stone we placed there when God said, let him without sin cast the first one. Today rocks were replaced with bullets. Yet isn't it ironic we're fighting heathens, heaving stones, crucifying them in crosshairs because it's more civilized? And we have the God to call them terrorists when war is the greatest terror and we wage more war than any first world country. Unable to pay wages to our own inflation, deflating face value, there will be no safe face at the end of our massacres. And when we stand in sand stuck between a rock and Ramsey's heart, wondering how it all starts, because surely this could not have been, been what was meant. But talk is cheap and... Silence is golden and everyone's buying high and selling low, making a stock of thought. Only two cents. And you paid to listen. Thanks.